Okay, so there's a, a bunch of different MIDI input devices we can use. Some have faders, some have knobs, some have touchscreens, but you need to find some tools if you're interested in this that will help you in the creative process. We're gonna look at one right now, it's called Elite Motion. It's actually a touchless device. Uh, you use it, you set it in front of you, and you wave your hand out in front of it, and it tracks what you're doing with your hand, as you can see on the right part of the screen, and it turns that into data, which we can use for any number of things. Now you can see we have the screens here, and that's gonna actually be very useful so you can see what it's doing with my hand. And then you can see the virtual hand here. And then on the left side, we have logic, and we've attached it to a parameter, which we're gonna look at, using a third party piece of software, which was about 10 bucks when I originally bought it, called Gecko MIDI. And this takes the data from this Leap Motion, it's a little device that hooks in USB, and it tracks my hand. You can see the one parameter that's blue, that's the one that we're using right now. I have soloed it out, assigned it to just a random MIDI message, and then inside Logic, which is so awesome for this, I went down into our smart controls with our cutoff frequency, push the I button here and clicked on learn and then just move my hand and it learned it. So there you can see the 28 again. So now I have this device tracking my hand motion, which is attached as you can see right down there in that little knob it's pretty small on the screen, but it's attached to that knob. And if I move my hand up in the air, it goes higher. And if I move it lower, it goes lower. If I pull it away, it doesn't just go to zero. It'll go to wherever that last reading was. But check it out, because I'm gonna use my MIDI keyboard here, or the, the computer keyboard option. Let's move it over here. So here's what it sounds like. I get this really awesome control of my sound using my hand waving through the air. So it's very, very cool. Now in terms of sequencing, so this is the distinction I wanna make. Just because I performed it a certain way doesn't mean Logic actually knows what to do with it. So I'm gonna do it again just for a second here. We're gonna delete everything. Oh, I didn't want to delete that. Okay, that's fine. We'll just recreate it. Okay, perfect. Brand new. This time, we're going to put it into touch mode. This is for our automation, which is going to track data such as this cutoff. Let's record. <laughs> And that's my hand waving through the air now being recorded into that track. So there's a few steps we have to go through. We have to get the leap motion, get the gecko software, program it to control this parameter, set it up to record the automation into the track. Seems like a lot of steps and it is, but once we have it set up, it's just something that's very easy to use. So that setup is the initial painful part now we can do a lot with it. 